Hello there. First off, there are no spoilers from today's Bad Batch episode because I haven't watched it yet. And actually, this mock isn't based on any of the Bad Batch episodes. You may remember a year, over a year ago now, when I was doing my theories on this channel. If any of you have stuck around from that time, I know it's a completely different fan base, but do drop a one in the comments so I know if anyone has stuck around for that long. And if you have, thank you very much. But I have finally returned to What Ifs for a one off special episode and created a prediction for the final episode of The Bad Batch. Now, last week, there wasn't too much from The Bad Batch episode, a lot of storyline, but nothing that could be physically represented in a display. Perhaps one or two of the odd scenes, especially the scene on the water where they're surrounded by the glowing fish. Without giving too much away, that was visually amazing. But I thought that I would jump ahead to the finale of the final season and lay my predictions of where I think the batch is going to end up. Now, this is broken into three different builds because I don't think the batch are going to stay together. I mean, we've already seen it with Tech going at the end of the last season and with Echo spinning off with the rest of the clones fighting against the Empire. I don't think the batch are going to follow either of them routes and hopefully no one else dies or at least looks to be dead because Tech will make a return in this series. I guarantee it and... If Tech has returned in today's episode, I apologise for the spoiler. I have no idea what happens, so I didn't mean to spoil it. But without further ado, let's get straight into this mock. I've been having so many problems with not recording lately, but let's try that again. So first up, we have where the Bad Batch have ended up. Now, I've placed them back on Pabu. As you can see, this is heavily inspired by the scene after they've rescued Crosshair and Omega when they have their feast. but here you can see Hunter and Wrecker are just talking at the table and Crosshair's looking out to the sea. He's been through a lot, Crosshair, not just with the Empire, but even after leaving them and the distrust that everyone had because of what he's done in the last two seasons. So he's just looking out, enjoying the peace. Perhaps he didn't end up fixing his hand and is enjoying a nice calm life with people taking care of him, him taking care of people. And we couldn't have forgotten the main character of the batch, Besides Batcher, Gonki, who is out the back there, just in front of that flower pot. I've included some of these lovely coloured flowers to represent the sort of plant life that grows on Pabu. And overall, it does look quite neat. It's a nice little apartment, perhaps it's a little balcony sticking out. And I'd love the Batch just to retire there. That explains why they don't show up elsewhere in Star Wars and perhaps no one else realises where they've got to because I'm sure Rex wouldn't exactly have been spread in that there is some modified clones on here. So if they do make it out of Season 3, I think they should just retire to Pabu, enjoy the local life and perhaps they can even give them a order over to Rex to continue the adventures in a spin-off show, which I would love. But this is where I predict the batch to end up. As I said, the batch is split up in my prediction. There's no Omega, no Echo, no Tech. And actually, Omega doesn't feature in this week's mocks because I really have no idea what they could do with her. I do have a feeling that she'll probably get put on a similar program to Grogu. But I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. Perhaps her story will not end here. But... One of the stories I think will line up with what we already know in Star Wars is Echoes. And I really am sitting behind my season one prediction that Echo is Lobot. In fact, I even thought this when the Clone Wars come out. As soon as you take a look at him, and especially that bit on the back of the head, yes, okay, other characters can have that happen to them. We've definitely seen that in Star Wars. Like when Crosshair was wrapped up after he got burnt by the engine of the Veneta. And I definitely thought as well as everyone else that he was going to end up being Dengar and it did somewhat make sense. But then they healed him up and it sort of broke away at the theories. But I think Echo could definitely become Lobot and start traveling around with Lando because he does want to do other things. He does want to fight the Empire and I guess they eventually do after coming to a agreement, but I'm sure that was just Lando trying to make some money and Lobot didn't seem too happy about that in the show. The first chance they got to combat the Empire and Lobot was with them. So I'd love to see Echo become Lobot or at least become something like Lobot, not in terms of a personal servant, but more so just helping the galaxy out as he can and especially if it's work against the Empire, is something that Echo will go for. That is, if he doesn't fly off with Rex and 
we'll probably end up getting a spin-off show for that how i created best bin was actually really simple because all i did was have a few snot bricks on the side here of course you've got the snot brick that is holding the door controls which is putting that panel just inside the wall there which looks a lot nicer than it sticking out but the door is just rotated 90 degrees and as you can see six bricks three plates and a tile and that on a snot brick makes the door look quite close to what we see on best bin now we also have this light fixture which i've just got a few different bricks with eclipse on and again this is something that if i build best bin again next year for the anniversary of empire strikes back i'm definitely going to revisit this video and steal a few of the ideas now if you've played the lego games or if you've watched the movie and paid quite a bit of attention you'll see that these towers of salts are down every corridor on Bespin. In a Lego game, it gets quite annoying, unless you're trying to go for True Jedi, because you can just get a bunch of studs easily from breaking all of these and all the different panels on the wall. So I've included this indent here to represent one of the different wall quirks that we've got. And of course, I had to build this smack bang in the middle of the diorama, almost interrupting the path of Lando and Echo. But I'd love to see Echo join Lando somehow. Perhaps they can even get their own show and Echo could even feature towards the end of the Lando story. But I'm still convinced that Tech is not dead. So I'm sure he'll show up at some point in the show. Again, if he's shown up today and this is spoiler content, I am sorry, but this is just a prediction I made a week ago. And I think I pulled it off quite well. I had to get Tech zooming through some populated area in a 10 by 10 sized module and i've pulled it off quite well as you can see i've used the modified bricks with the lines going to show that tech is zooming past i've angled them a little bit perhaps he's not flying as straight as he can he's going down staying in hiding but he is on that hunter speeder that we've seen in season one and season two and i'm still waiting for it in season three i'm keeping my eyes out I'm definitely sure it's going to show up somewhere if it hasn't already been seen in the background of one of the Pabu scenes. But that's not the best bit about the module and nor is the custom rooftops that I've given them. Because if we take the previous modules and begin to stack it up like a staircase, you'll soon notice that it actually becomes a pyramid which looks even cooler on a display. And this does work with last week's 10x10 module as well. I can't include it because you would need a triangular number of modules so i've got three here perhaps if i make another two in the next couple of weeks i can make this even bigger and build one massive story across the six modules so definitely stick around for that and i really hope you enjoy these modules because they're a lot of fun making and this week especially, I've got to predict what i think is going to happen to the bad batch so if you are watching the batch Definitely come back once the show is over to see just how correct or how badly I predicted the end. So that is all for my Bad Batch prediction. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Again, if you used to watch my What If videos or perhaps you've stumbled onto one or two of them, drop a one in the comments. And if you want to have a look at what I was doing before LEGO, my old videos and shorts are on a playlist. So feel free to check them out. But it's a very, very different style of content. It's fun to look back at sometimes, but definitely I enjoy the Lego a lot more. So thank you so much for watching. Again, drop a like if you do enjoy these videos and stick around. There's going to be another one next week. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out. And as always, may the bricks be with you.